Praise God. Amen. A glory to God Almighty. Friends in Christ, we are here again. We are here again to reflect and pray together. This is another serious moment in our lives and destiny. We are here on the fourth day of April, looking at a message or a reflection that is titled, You are God, my healer. You are God, my healer. You are God, my healer. Very important. And I pray that the Spirit of the Living God, the power of God, as in Luke's Gospel, chapter 5, verse 17. The Bible said that day Jesus was teaching in the presence of the Pharisees, the scribes, and so many people from different parts of the world. And the power of the Lord was dear to him. I pray that that power of God to heal be made available thus day, even where you are now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As we begin, in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, Heavenly Father, there is none like you. We must confess. We've tested, we've seen. You are the reason why we are still living today. We say may your name be glorified this day in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Take glory. May you, O Lord, be true every other man be liar. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Our anchor scripture is taken from the Bible book of Exodus, chapter 15, verse 26. Exodus 15 from verse 26. I take my reading from the New International Version of the Bible, NIV. And it says, He said, If you listen carefully to the Lord your God and do what is right in His eyes, if you pay attention to his commandments and keep all his decrees, I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians. For I am the Lord who heals you. For I am the Lord who heals you? This is God's word. For I am the Lord who heals you. This is the voice of God coming to you, child of God. Listening to those broadcasts at a time like this. The Lord says, I should tell you this day that He is the Lord who heals you. He is the Lord who heals you. Child of God, it might interest you to note that for this very reason that the Lord has declared himself your healer. It is a sign that there is a provision already for any and all 
times of sickness. It is a good sign that there is a provision for healing. It is a sign that the Lord knows before the sickness came into your life. It is a sign that the Lord has already made a provision for him to have declared himself as our healer, as your healer. It is evident that there is a way out already, out of that sickness, a way out of that pain. There is a provision already. Our people used to say that the hunger that has hope doesn't kill someone. A hunger, you are hungry but you have hope of eating food. It doesn't kill you. God has provided for you and I A place, a position, a platform, an assurance for healing. Hear the child of God. I don't care to know the kind of disease or the kind of sickness that is attacking your head right now. My major interest now is that God has said I should tell you that he is your God the one that heals you glory to God what a loving God we serve that he has made provision for your healing already so child of God regardless of what that sickness is called by name there is already made portion of a healing that is supernatural, that is divine, that comes from God. Few things you are going to look at at this point in time, child of God, somebody may be asking, how do I assess this healing? Number one, Faith, develop faith in this word of God. The Lord has declared He is the Lord that He lets you. Can you make this thing personal? Can you just be happy that finally there is provision for you for your healing? And by the end of this broadcast, you will see that this is leave you permanently in the name of Jesus Christ. For the spirit of the living God is available for healing. Child of God, I have seen God heal the sick. On several occasions, I've seen him heal diseases. Situations that doctors have given up. Nurses have given up. I've seen him heal diseases. I've seen him heal cancer. I've seen him make a cripple walk. I've seen him open deaf ears, open blind eyes, fractured bones. I've seen him heal all different, different kinds of diseases. I've seen him take away cancer. I've seen him stop blood related issues. Child of God, that sickness in your body. The end of it has finally come in the name of Jesus Christ. I say the end of it has finally come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We have talked about faith. The second thing, way out, is you need to boldly confess your healing. You need to boldly confess your healing. You need to boldly confess your healing. He says he's the Lord that healed you. 
Oh, it will only confirm that finally my healing moment has come. My time to be healed is here. And your healing is hitting you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our daily mirror for today says, Do I truly see God as my healer? Very serious question. Do I truly see God as my healer? If you've not started seeing him, start seeing him now as your healer. As we embark on those prayers now, make up your mind to pray sincerely. And you shall see God mighty. You shall see God heavy. You shall see God manifest supernaturally, taking away that disease from your body. In Jesus' most powerful name we are praying. Amen. God has started your prayers. Number one. They start to begin to praise the Lord your God for promising to heal you. Ah. Just like that hungry man that suddenly there is a provision for food. Suddenly you hear that there is food around. Suddenly you are perceiving the aroma. Suddenly you can see the food presented right before you. Child of God, begin to celebrate. Begin to praise God for this provision of the healing. Begin to praise God for this provision of healing. Go ahead and thank Him, Father. I thank you for this provision. Just go ahead and thank Him. Just go ahead and thank Him for this provision <laughs> of healing. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praised. Amen. A strategic prayer number two. It is time to take authority over the spirits behind the illness and command them to give way in the name of Jesus Christ. Take authority in the name of Jesus over the spirit that is behind that sickness and command them to give way. Command them to leave your body now. Leave my system. Leave my blood. Leave my joint. Leave my body, my soul, my spirit. Leave me now. I command it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and command them to leave you. Reject them, renounce them. Whether it is inherited, whether you acquired it, whether it was imposed on you, whichever way it has come, command it to leave your body. Reject it now in the name of Jesus Christ. We are praying. Amen. It is time to lay your hands on the afflicted part of your body and begin to call the name of Jesus until you are healed. Wherever this affliction, this sickness is in your body, it is time to lay your hands there. It is time to lay your hands there and command them to leave your body. Lay your hands there and begin to call the name of Jesus for healing. The Bible said, the mention of that name, Jesus, every nation bow. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of the Father. Open your mouth and begin to call on the name Jesus Christ for your healing. The name Jesus Christ for your healing. The name Jesus Christ for your healing. Just lay your hand right there that you are feeling the pain. The name Jesus Christ for your healing. You shall see it no more. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Child of God, receive your healing with faith and begin to glorify God. Receive your healing with faith and begin to glorify God. Thank God for healing you. Begin to glorify God with faith. The Bible said, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the weak say, I am strong. For the just shall live by their faith. By faith, declare your healing. By faith, Receive your healing and begin to glorify God. It's time to present your private intentions to God Almighty who is able to hear you. The one that sees you, that knows you. The one that made you. He made you, he knows everything concerning your system. 
The one that has the spare parts of you. The one that can replace anything replaceable. Anything that the, that the enemy, that sickness has tampered with in your system. Just present those private intentions to him. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayer. Amen. Tell over quickly, let's go to our page number six for daily prophetic prayers. For our daily prophetic prayers, page six. And the most powerful, most precious, and glorious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I thank you, O Lord, for the gift of life. I thank you also for the favors received in the past. In the name of Jesus Christ, let every wall of Jericho before me crumble now. Oh, you walls of barrier, you walls of financial lack, and you walls of fruitlessness in life, be destroyed now by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All powers in heaven and on earth belongs to God. Therefore, I decree that no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. In the most powerful name of Jesus Christ. When God says yes, no one can say no. Therefore, let every decree of Satan and his demons in my life be shattered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I possess my possessions by the power of the Most High God. Let every door closed against me be opened by fire in the most powerful name of Jesus Christ. I shall not die. I shall live to declare the goodness of the Lord. I overcome this day every barrier to my blessings. I decree that goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life in Jesus' name. I will possess the land. My family shall possess the land. This year shall end in glory and praise. It is well with me, body, soul, and spirit. In the, in the most powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. I pray for you, child of God. Join faith with you. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. With your heart ready to receive. May the healing power of God rest upon you. Right now from the crown of your head and to the sole of your feet. And set you free from this affliction in the name of Jesus Christ. I take authority over every demon responsible for this affliction. I command it out in the name of Jesus Christ. I command it to lose the hold. Now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you demon of cancer. You demon of paralysis. You demon of every form of infirmity. I command it out now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says it shall come to pass on that day that body will be lifted and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. By the anointing power of God, I declare set free now in Jesus' most powerful name. We are praying. Amen. You are here in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, child of God, to share to all your contacts, friends, and well wishers. And you remain blessed in the most powerful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Shalom. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you. My Redeemer, you are my Savior. My Redeemer, you are my Savior.